YouTube, it's girl Kaya, and we're back again with another video. We're gonna get straight into it today. This one's gonna be a little bit different. I was like, let me give y'all a couple of college do's and college don'ts because if I can help a lot of girls and whoever's watching this video, I'm gonna help y'all out. If you look, see me looking, I wrote down the do's and don'ts. So if you look, see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So yeah, let's get straight to number one. I would say to definitely get your homework done as soon as possible. And I always tell like, my homeboy is all the time like i'm like but why wait to the last minute when like because i'm gonna just tell you like me i have class tuesday and thursday right so what i do is i dedicate the rest of that day because I, I don't really do much so i would say definitely dedicating one day in the week knocking all your homework out the way and then like another day to study like just balancing it i feel like getting your homework done as soon as possible it's just the best feeling because after you get it done, you can have the whole week to yourself, you have the whole weekend to yourself, and you can do whatever you want. Number two is to utilize and accept assistance and free tutoring. Um, at Santa Fe, we have a lot of resources we can use, and I just really want, I think everybody should utilize all the sources you have around you. But definitely go to the math studio, a really friendly and amazing library people, amazing and helpful. And by the trio program, which is the people who help with financial aid they give you free tutoring they help with so much go get that tutoring number three is to apply for scholarships and grants i will stress this on every single college student okay make sure y'all apply for y'all fafsa every single year because that's money that's money right there okay that's money that's helping you pay for your classes and guess what the rest of the money go to your bank account yeah clock that yeah definitely apply for scholarships and grants for santa fe college students specifically once again um i'm in a trio program if you haven't heard about them definitely look into it look it up on the santa fe website they have a cap program they have the sss program you can apply to be in both because that's what i did i'm in both and i get scholarships for both of the programs i apply for fafsa and sometimes those programs they let you know right away when a um, scholarship comes out and you apply for it like they help y'all get all these scholarships and i'm gonna just say speaking for me i haven't came out my pocket once in college and i've been there for going on two years in december so hear me out number four is to make at least one to two three friends in a class i feel like that's just really helpful when it comes to help like i feel like if you don't understand an assignment and you don't want to ask the professor your stuff make friends but i feel like just make your friends in college makes college fun again if you need help on an assignment y'all can get together y'all can go to a cafe y'all can go anywhere where to study and then minus that y'all actually building a friendship so and the last one romanticize your notes you can be like what even if you're a bad note taker romanticize it if you need to use different color pens, highlighters, you know, highlight the heading, da 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 whatever you gotta do. Make it cute, make it fun, so you can understand what you work with. Like, I thought just romanticizing school overall is a great tip. Now, let's go straight into the don'ts. The first tip I have for don'ts is procrastination, of course. Y'all knew that was gonna come. Y'all knew that was coming. Um, I would say just do not procrastinate. I know that's easier said than done, but do not let that spirit of laziness get to you because it don't wanna see you win. Like procrastination just makes you stressed and y'all know it dude like y'all can't say oh when i procrastinate i feel good no you don't <laughs> number two this is my opinion but i would say do not apply for loans like i don't know if like applying for loans it's a little risky because what if you don't have the money at that moment to pay them back that could just be me though that could just be me i would say just to avoid to apply for loans number three is to do not skip class let me say that louder for the people in the back do not skip class do not skip class y'all y'all heard me the first time the second time or the third time okay and why i say that why do i say that now <laughs> i used to be that person used to skip class and that would catch up to me and if i can help y'all let not let that catch up to y'all i'm gonna help y'all out because what motivated me to start going to class more motivated me. I'm like, you know what? I got a place I'm trying to be. I got a goal. And I'm not going to make it to that goal or that place if I'm not going to class. And another way to think about it is that you, if you're not applying for, like I was saying, if you're not applying for these scholarships, 
you're are uh, you're literally racing you or your mama's money or your dad whoever the case may be you're racing their money or your money just for you to not be going to class like make your money work that's literally what motivated me i'm like okay i'm not gonna waste my money or or like it's kind of like in my predicament i'm blessed to have all these scholarships so guess what i'm gonna utilize it because i could be coming out of my pocket <laughs> anyways let me hurry up because the storage is not storage right now um i said number four again just don't be afraid to ask for help i feel like we can be prideful sometimes not want to ask for help we feel like we got it all by ourselves so go ask your friend for help go ask that professor go ask whoever you need to do ask for help go ask them. the last one is do not neglect your mental health and i just cut my own tea school is already a lot of work it takes a lot of your mental it takes so much to go to college like college is not for the week so i just really would say like do your skincare routine make sure you're still getting good sleep taking care of yourself whatever the case gotta be like take care of yourself that's all i gotta say because if you're not getting that sleep you're gonna be tired at class you're not gonna be you're not gonna want to listen to what the professor is talking about you're gonna be halfway asleep so make sure you're getting your sleep make sure you're drinking water working out moving your body daily whatever the case may be you're drinking and eating your greens y'all see y'all see me went to the gym this morning yeah yeah i feel like a big dog it was like but for real those are my main five tips of do's five tips of don'ts hear me out but if you learned something new from this video or if you have any more do's or don'ts comment them down below let's all help each other i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all like comment subscribe once again if you're new to the channel i'm kaya but yeah, thank y'all for watching. Bye.